Hi guys, today we're going to react to Paradise, What About Us by Within Temptation featuring Tarja Turnen. This is a Buy Me a Coffee request by Dan W60. Uh, thanks, Dan. Uh, I know this song very well. I love uh, Within Temptation and uh, yeah, it should be fun. Yep. Thanks, Dan. We appreciate the support. stumbled upon this uh, song for the first time i i didn't know it was a uh, featuring uh, taria turn and was very uh, pleasantly surprised to see her uh, uh singing along uh, with uh, uh sharon deradel the vocalist for uh, within temptation i love how this song starts because they have so much power in their songs and they are so good at musically constructing uh choruses it just never ends they, they hit their chords that that gets you thrilled And it never ends. Inside the chorus, I mean, there are many exhilarating moments. Within Temptation is a band I'm aware of. Um, I, I think I may have heard this song before. I'm not even 100% sure. Um, it has a very kind of mainstream sound to it. And while we were listening to it, I'm even thinking this song could be, you know, what it is, which is like symphonic metal. Although I feel like it's maybe a little bit lighter than, say... Nightwish or something yeah, like that lighter, yeah but it would also not be out of place at the Eurovision so it has a pop sensibility to it yeah and with their voices both their voices being so clear like crystal clear you know beautiful voices um I think that also contributes to that somewhat yeah. um so it's a very kind of clean symphonic metal song. And I like it. I was almost thinking when I was younger, if this would have been playing at some kind of dance club, you dance. I could yeah. dance to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's not just like a, like a banging metal song. It could be many things. The band is fantastic. Their voices are amazing. You know, it's actually really cool to hear Taria singing this because with Nightwish, there's something slightly different. Here I'm getting more of a, like a crystal clean voice of hers. Like she could sing pop. She could sing pop. metal she rock, can anything. sing a lot of things yeah yeah i agree yeah and sharon denadel who i've never really focused on her voice before it gave me kind of a chance to kind of have a closer listen and yeah she's fantastic and together they sound really great so yeah you can imagine my surprise i didn't read that the song was uh paradise featuring tyra turden i saw her in the music video i didn't realize mm -hmm. what i was looking at and this is wait, wait hold on is this within temptation is this nightwish oh no it's featuring tyra the subject matter in the song doesn't really uh hide in the subtext it's very uh clear it's serious criticism against us you know against against people uh and has to do with uh, climate crisis at least that's what i uh interpreted there's a line that had caught my attention when wisdom fails it changes all the wheel embodies all that keeps on turning 
learning. I think they're talking about karma, what goes around comes around. And they're talking about the, the, how responsible we are for the climate crisis. The, the, there's another line there, blood red skies, I feel so cold. Uh, no innocence, we play our role. The wheel embodies all, where are we going? So blood red skies mean it's already too late. We're already messed things up in the world. No innocence, we play our role. We have no excuse to say we didn't know. Yeah, we're guilty and we're accountable for everything that happens. All in all, you'd expect the wise to be wiser, fallen from grace. All in all, I guess we should have known better because what about us? The criticism here is the way we are today. We have all the information and you have intellectuals that, that know what's going on and they even know how to fix it. But no, we're not. We're still ruining the world. And in the chorus, they say, what about us? Isn't it enough? No, we're not in paradise. This is not the way we should live in the world. We'll finally lose our, our right to stay here. They suspect it's too far gone. When referring to the wheel, they might mean karma and it could just refer to time. You know, it's not stopping for us. So the longer we go, the more likely it will be that we reach that point of no return. Mm -hmm. You know, it keeps on turning. It doesn't wait for us to come to a realization. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's actually a nice interpretation because we, we, we're not stopping. We can't stop it. We're still in descent. Yeah, yeah I get it. Yeah, I mean, it's basically uh, uh, an indictment on us as as people, the human race, whatever, you know, you, yeah. you want to call it. We should have known better. And even now that we know better, we're yeah. not making a change. made me think about nuclear war because they're using the instrument that probably mankind used to destroy the world which is a, a nuclear energy and they're using it in the visuals to to heal the world to, to operate uh, some uh, machine to, to clear the skies. It's a hopeful outlook on, on what we can do. We can use our resources right now to make this place a better place for us to, to live in. And besides the visuals and the concept and everything, Paria's solo, this song reminded me of how much I appreciate this uh, singer. She, she's, she's phenomenal. And, and both, like you said, both of them together, it's, it's just a treat. There was a section there when they went into that sort of angelic kind of singing. And it's just like, wow, their voice is, again, so clear and just gorgeous. Just a fantastic song. But I, I think I've heard, I'm pretty sure now that I have heard it before. It was a long time ago and I, uh, I haven't really listened to it 
much, but I really remember I, I, I did hear it somewhere and like it because it, it left some sort of an impression. I really love the line, um, the venom works, it's like a curse, a Trojan horse, when will we learn? The wheel embodies all that keeps turning. So yeah, again, it keeps going back to that um, sentiment. It's really, really cool. And yeah, yeah, I think they, they, they get the message across really well. And I, I agree with you. I think that what they're showing here is that um, if we pool our resources together, our knowledge or whatever, we could come up with some sort of um, a solution, an answer uh, uh, to to everything that's that's wrong with the world at the moment. Yeah. Um, and although we're not in paradise, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to yeah. be paradise, but we don't have to kill it. Yeah. Um, so. Um, so yeah, it's it's all it's all we've got, and and let's try to be nicer to it and keep it. It's like yeah. if we'll be nice to this planet, the planet will be nicer to us. I don't know if it's encompassed in that, but uh, they're calling it, it's not paradise, but it, they're actually saying, they're not saying it in these words, but it's home. And we should not think about it just our home. After I die, I don't care what happens, so I might as well live the life. No, it's not. That's not the equation you should have in your head. You should have what I'm leaving behind for my you know, offspring, what kind of place they'll have to live in, or will they be able to live in that place? So that's the, that's the thought that you'd get. That, that's why you should be uh, engaged in, in saving the world, so to speak. It's not a term that I like using because we're not saving the world. The world's going to be here long after we die. <laughs> it's saving our right to stay in the world, to live in the world. Yeah, and uh, I think the line was, uh, no, it's not our paradise, but it's all we want. Yeah. It's all that we're fighting for. Um, it, it's like, you know, if you go biblical, you know, this was once a paradise, but the longer we've lived on it, the, the less of a paradise it has become. It hits close to home and, it, and it, it hits like very, very correctly, I think. ending it gave an ominous uh, prediction mm -hmm. yeah, yeah big brother is watching or people are people yeah. and the wheel will keep turning and yeah. history will repeat itself perhaps yeah 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 yeah. i like the bit where where they both stand in front of each other a white dress and a black dress like uh some sort of handshake with nature to live in a better equilibrium with nature yeah it could have been like a yin yang kind of thing yeah. i keep thinking this would have won eurovision you know yeah. And and for me, to sum up as far as the meaning is that that only uh, some kind of cooperation can lead to creation or perhaps recreation um, of of this this paradise, this world that we're talking about is when you when we let go of the I and yeah. concentrate on the we, which is the us yeah. and think of like the betterment of mankind rather than just our immediate selves. We need to yeah. commit to something that is that is bigger than ourselves. We need to start thinking in it in those terms. And that's why I think I love uh, within temptation. Uh, they uh, they're exhilarating. 
I said in the, in the beginning, they know how to construct their uh, verses in their courses. They know what chords hit. Sometimes it's a more mainstream approach to making music, but it is exhilarating. And that's why I love them. Yeah, no, when I say it's, it's got a mainstream sound, it's like the, the good kind of mainstream as far yeah. as I'm concerned. This, is, this was really cool. Um, it doesn't feel like derivative or anything like that. Yeah. It just feels, like you say, kind of exhilarating. It's kind of like a pump you up kind of song. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, I really enjoy it. So, um, so yeah, thanks again, Dan. Uh, we appreciate <laughs> yeah. um, the, the excellent request and as yeah. always appreciate the support. So Yeah, yeah. Thank you, again. Dan. More Within Temptation, please. Yeah, we like more of that. Mm -hmm. Great request. We enjoyed it tremendously. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and click the little bell icon so you'll get notified on all our future videos. If you have a request you'd like bumped up the line, please make it through Buy Me A Coffee. All contributions are, of course, very much appreciated. Thank you all for sticking with us. Thank you all for your time. It just has a feeling of like this darkness over this song that feels almost, I don't know, controversial. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's something to this. I would love to know what he actually wrote this about because... I have no clue. Thanks again, everyone. We appreciate you more than you know. Without you, there would be no show. So please keep coming back. Keep watching. Keep engaging. Uh, we will do our best to respond, although it is getting harder and harder to respond to everyone. But we, we try. Um, and yeah, we will be back in a couple of days with a new episode. So we hope to see you back here. And um, yeah, we hope you enjoyed as much as we have. See you soon, guys. Bye, Bye guys.